Okay, what I want to show you today is I want to show you another way to factor a quadratic equation. I got this method from another teacher who got it from another teacher, and quite honestly, I'm not sure where it originated. Here's the process. You have a quadratic equation. What we want to do is we want to find out what a is, in this case a is 6, find out what b is, in this case b is negative 5, and find out what c is, c is negative 6. Step 1 in solving this, this equation is going to be multiplying a times c. So, a times c, 6 times negative 6 gives us a negative 36, and that was a times c. And then we want to know what b is. In this case, b is negative 5. What we're going to do next is we're just going to write down the factors of what a times c was. So in this case, the factors of negative 36. So we can start with negative 36 times 1. That gives us negative 36, but when we add those together, we definitely don't get negative 5. So let's do the next step. How about negative 18 and 2? Once again, you don't get negative 5. Uh, how about we go with negative 9 and 4? Negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. Negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. That's what we were looking for. Okay? Next step in the process, I'm going to write down that negative 9 and that 4. Next step in the process is we put them over A. A in this case was 6. Placing them over A, can we simplify these fractions? We must leave them in fractions, but in simplified form. Negative 9 over 6 simplifies to negative 3 over 2. 4 over 6 would simplify to 2 over 3. Now this last step is really just for me to keep things in order. I throw a variable in the denominator because now the information is right in front of you to write down the factors. 2x minus 3, which comes from here and here, and 3x plus 2 comes from here and here. Just another way to solve a quadratic equation.